Next up, we have a cool racing duo who don't actually show up in person. Well, at least not in the F-Zero game I own. Now oftentimes I tend to always like to play as team characters, usually two characters acting as one. The best part is not only do they drive so well together, they appear to be almost complete opposites that drive well together. Gomar's short, Shiyu's tall, Gomar looks a bit dopey yet the F-Zero wiki says he has an impressive intellect and Shiyu looks like he's ready for anything. Ironically, the F-Zero anime makes them both out to look pretty dorky, which is one thing that made me like the two even more. Even though they only showed up in one episode, it was still a hilarious and exciting one. I definitely would suggest the F-Zero anime if you're into that kind of stuff, and especially if you're into the game series as well. It is, without a doubt, my most favorite anime, second being the Animal Crossing movie. So, if you do want to watch the F-Zero anime, or F-Zero Falcon Densetsu, just simply search F-Zero The Legend of Falcon on YouTube. I strongly suggest the subtitled episodes by Dreadop. And with that, I'll leave you with this video clip, and remember... そんなあなたにぴったりのものが今ここに。な、何？何をあんたたち？痩せたいあなたにぴったりのグッズがこれ。この中には筋肉を鍛え、脂肪を消費するこの貴重なミラクルストーンがなんと15キロも入っています。だ
Finally, towards the end of how far I got in Fire Red, I was able to catch a Dutini that eventually evolved into Dragonair. That's where I currently stopped my Fire Red playthrough, and I figured I'd just make my team be the first five and my Dragonair. In the end though, I decided to go ahead and evolve my Dragonair, leaving me with my current team of six Pokemon. Zinx the Jinx, Ryu the Kangaskhan, Nellar the Lapras, Zebastay the Zapdos, Jobas the Dragonite, and finally, Dream the Chansey. I'm hoping that my team doesn't change too much in the future because I really like how this team turned out and, let's face it, they all look so well together. And of all the Generation 1 Pokemon out there, I hope these six few are proud to be on my team. Before we continue on to my most favorite character I love to play as, let's first go back through the ones that are still on my favorites list. Number 10, Wario from Mario Kart 64. Number 9, any emergency vehicle from any racing or driving game. Number 8, Team Topagalese from Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Number 7, Megalon from Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Number 6, Team Rose from Sonic Heroes. Number 5, the Smoking Donkey, or Jazz, from True Crime Streets of LA. Number 4, Andronic from Sonic Dash. Number 3, Gomar and Shiyu from F-Zero X. And number 2, Jinx, Kangaskhan, Lapras, Chansey, Zapdos, and Dragonite, or my Pokemon team, from the Pokemon series. You and I both know it. Everyone has their own Super Smash Bros. character that they know best. And for me, without a doubt, it would be the Ice Climbers. Now this should come as no surprise if you're subscribed to my other channel, considering that these two are what I use as my avatar now. So why is it that I love the Ice Climbers? Well, some of it has to do with what I mentioned in the number 3 slot. It is fun to feel partially in control of more than one character. As you battle through as Nano or Popo, whichever one you choose, you know that your partner is super important to you, and you always want to make sure that they are by your side at all times. If you lose them, your player is close to helpless, especially with air combat. However, it doesn't mean that you lose the match. I've had moments where my partner was defeated, and I knew I had to get revenge for them one way or another, and have been able to defeat many foes in doing so. In the midst of battle, you definitely do feel a bond with the two. You know what's going through their heads as they battle. Stick together and fight as one. And I feel that is some great chemistry. They have been friends for this long and there's no way it's stopping here. Now, I assume you have at least two major questions for this Ice Climbers fan. Which Ice Climber do I prefer most? And how do I think they're related? To answer the first question, I play as them both equally. It just so happens that my favorite character costumes for them in Melee and Brawl have me play as both Nana and Popo. I play as Popo in Melee since their default costume is my favorite, and I play as Nana in Brawl since I absolutely love the look of the all-white Parkas. Finally, how do I think they're related? Well, 
First off, most people question whether Popo and Nana are boyfriend and girlfriend, or brother and sister. To put my answer simply, I'm going to have to say that they are brother and sister. There is something just so much more greater about a close sibling bond. If they're brother and sister, they likely have grown up together and have been through the same things, and therefore, their connection during battle is even greater. So, to conclude this list, put on your parkas, raise your mallets, and say with as much confidence as Popo and Nana have together during battle, here's to the Ice Climbers and Super Smash Brothers 4. For Wii U and 3DS. Well, there you have it. This has been my top 10 mains. I really hope you enjoyed this list, I had a great time writing it. So I'd like to hear from you down in the comments. What are your favorite mains? Don't forget to subscribe for more top 10s and other gaming related videos. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.